I'm Meryl Rose. Each year we read about tragic cases where people have been hurt by or have died as a result from carbon monoxide poisoning. Here to tell us more from a legal standpoint is attorney Jim Higgins with the Higgins firm. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. So have you handled cases like this before? Uh, unfortunately, we have. You know, we have a complex injury uh, department at the Higgins firm, and so these are cases that we handle because they're fairly unique. And, and you know, carbon monoxide, we call it, it is the silent killer. And it's because you can't taste it, you can't see it, you can't smell it. And so what will happen a lot of times is people will be in these environments. For instance, we had a case right now, we're dealing with people that were poisoned in a hotel because of mm. an indoor pool problem. And they just feel sick and nauseous and they don't know what's going on. And it, we have had it where they have been those mass poisonings. We have had cases where it's been people in their home or in a uh, apartment. So it happens 4,000 cases a year happen across wow. the United States. So how do we avoid a tragedy like that? Simple, simple it is you've got to make sure whatever you've got in your home burning gas that is properly ventilated that um, there's an exhaust there and go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any of those stores and get you a carbon monoxide detector. They're 25 bucks and it can save your life. And it is so important to have those in every house. How do you pursue a case like this? Well, what's interesting about these cases is you really have to understand them because when carbon monoxide starves your brain, there can be long-term damages and you really need to be able to talk to the family, ask them, is this person different? Are they acting different? Do they, are they, agitated? Do they remember things like they did? You need to get them to the right doctors and experts to see if there's any long-term damage. And if there is, that's how you pursue these cases. All right, Jim Higgins, some good information. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you'd like to find out more about the Higgins Firm, you can visit their website. It's thehigginsfirm.com.